What up, y'all? It's your boy Juggle972 back here. And I do apologize for the uh, previous episode. It was full of complications. Now, when we got past um, this little uh, drill session, if you will, we ended up on the uh, cargo ship. Unfortunately, the footage that I had uh, detailing what you needed to do, uh, how can I say, just got deleted from my uh, computer. And um, on top of all that, though, the footage uh, ended up getting really scrambled up. And um, what can I say? I had to get rid of it. But let's summarize real quick. In the previous episode, what you needed to do was get onto the ship, uh, figure out where your opponents were, and uh, where your party members were as well, too. Now, we find out that Sephiroth is on this ship. However, we don't know exactly where Sephiroth is. And now that we've got our party together... I chose Barrett and Tifa. And in this sense, we need to look for Sephiroth. So, we are going to look for Sephiroth. So, without further ado, let's keep going. Of course, Red 13. <laughs> he wants to switch with us. I think I'm going to put him instead of Tifa. And let's do a little of a... Let's do a little switching, shall we? Alright, sorry about that. I had him uh, do a little, little quick of a mute real quick. <sighs> oh, misunderstood, by the way, as I joined us. What's up? How you doing? Uh, I was just telling everybody that um, some of the footage that we had on the previous episode got a little mixed up a little bit, and we are looking for Sephiroth. Oh, really? All right. Yes, yes. Oh, and by the way, uh, last night we uh, spent almost all night playing Star Fox Zero. Yes, we did. Um... Now, my, I'm going to tell you this right now, though. Star Fox Zero, great game. Great, great, great game. The controllers, on the other hand, well need a lot of work and I do mean a lot of work um, um, excuse, sorry I just woke up so. yeah it's a uh, it's three in the afternoon it's been a very long morning and uh, apparently we have found Sephiroth or so we think three in the afternoon Shit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was a very long night for both of us yeah um, so basically I, you know, my personal opinion about Star Fox Zero, I love the game. It's a great game. I, just... I really do. It's really, it's an awesome game. The graphics are nice. The control, like... Oh, look at this. And Sephiroth has emerged. Who are you? You don't remember me. I'm Cloud. Cloud. What are you thinking and what are you doing? The time is now. Be more specific... Uh-oh. Oh, would you look oh, at this? Whoa. Ladies and gentlemen, Genova. I'm going to tell you right now, Genova is a pain in the ass. Now, I'll tell you one thing about Genova at this point, though. Genova doesn't focus on status effects, though. She does focus on multiple attacks. And on top of all that, the one thing you will have to look out for is the fact that she hits hard. And out of the 4,000 HP, she will hit you with Tail Laser. And a multiple uh, uh, dual t uh, dual laser attacks as well too. Yes, one of my favorite uh, personal favorite summons as well too. Yes, that was a snap right there. Okay, Genova Bird, level 25. Was at 4,000 HP, and uh, as we're trying to leave these cats out though, they keep wanting to come in. So I do apologize, I do apologize for the interruptions. Yeah. So anyway, um, getting back to. Uh... Zero. That, that is a wonderful game. I it really is. Um, I actually don't mind the controls. However, I will agree that they're a little wobbly. Very, 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 rob very wobbly though, you know. And I do think that um, the development of it though, you know, could have been just a little bit better in, in certain terms of controls, well, because they are very clunky. And just when you think that you've got something good going uh, going on though, the controls do fuck it up. They really do. And there's the W laser right there. Oh, there's those multiple attacks I was telling you about. Alright, 
let's see. Just, just uh, focus, and all you gotta do is just focus on keeping um, Genova grounded at this point with nothing but just attacks and attacks, and do not let her attack as well, too. And if you have uh, anything by any chance that can slow her down, I highly recommend using it now. Because the slower Genova is, the less she gets to attack. But anyway, you were talking about a uh, uh, Star Fox? Yeah, um... Like I said before, the, the, the controls are a little wobbly. It's gonna, like... It's gonna take... The controls are gonna take some getting used to, but, you know, it's, it, the weird thing about... The weird thing about us playing it is that I... One thing I noticed that I adapted to the controls more than the other he had a He had some issues with the controls. Me, I kind of... Me, I couldn't... I kind of adapted to it a little easier. I had some pretty good um, uh, ability to control it as well, too. Um, the only problem that I have with it, though, is the, is the mere fact that every time that I needed to do something, though, it kept and it gave me the 180 when I needed to as well, too. And mind you, we uh, made it to Andros last night. Yes. And I'll tell you right now, Andros is the pain in the ass, not to mention uh, the Monarch Dodoria. I that's what it's called. What? Monarch Dodoria, yeah. That yeah, the Monarch Dodoria. Monarch. Yes, if you don't remember the Monarch Dodoria, uh, the Monarch Dodora is the uh, boss from uh, Fortunia on um, the very first Star Fox. And as uh, Nanaki goes down. Yeah, this is one thing you have to look out for is uh, Genova's constant uh, multiple attacks about too. Very cheap. Very, very, very cheap. I'll tell you this right now. But yeah, the Monarch Dodora gave me the most difficult time along with Andros. Yeah, I'll tell you right now, Andros is the most unfair. And um, out of all of the uh, Star Fox games, this one has to be the most um, inaccurate at times and inconsistent as well, too. You know, and there, you know, not a lot of it you know really comes. It's like playing a uh, Super Meat Boy at, uh, at sometimes. <laughs> yeah, and I'll tell you right now, Super Meat Boy is one of the. <laughs> it's a platformer though, but if anybody's ever played it, though, they know what I'm talking about. Other than that, you know, besides the controls being uh, a little wobbly, I, I think the game is very enjoyable. There are some uh, parts in the game that really took me by surprise. Absolutely. And no spoiler alert, though, but you know what's really funny about this, though, is the fact that the first time we played it, we ended up on the most difficult course. Yes, we did. I don't know how oh we did. Oh, my God. You know, because, like, we've been playing Star Fox since the very, very beginning on the Super Nintendo, and as you've seen on my stream, uh, when I played Star Fox uh, with everybody live on Twitch, um, I did all three courses, but on Star Fox 64, uh, we've uh, our favorite course is honestly the, the most difficult, and we really didn't you know what to we really didn't know what to expect at this point though. But we somehow found our way to the most difficult course on the game, and I don't know how we did it though. But I think that's just you know experience from the previous games as well too. And honestly though, I mean I I had a lot of fun playing it though. I really did. We. I, I had we still have a lot to complete, no doubt about it though, but we also learned that the uh, classic uh, vehicles from the Super Nintendo are available to be unlocked. There's some... They, there's, um, there's some content from um, Star Fox 2, the unreleased game. Yes. Um, which was a good, another good game. Once you hit expert mode, it is hard. Absolutely, yes. Um, they brought back some content from Star Fox 64, and they brought back like, stuff from the very first game, mm -hmm. and they've got new content for, um, on the new game as well, like, it, not that. But uh, that was uh, my uh, cell phone going off. Yeah. <laughs> the money ringtone, my little text tone as well, too. Yeah, and, um, what I have to say, I, I, despite, um, despite the flaws here and there, I, I'm still impressed with the game. I'm still very, very impressed. And as Genova falls, though, you know, that's actually very, very relieving, too, because Genova was giving us a little bit of a pain. Like right in the ass. Well, his so called mother. Yeah, so -called. And would you look at that? That's what's disappearing from. That's what's what disappeared from the Shinra building. Genova, the arm of Genova. What's that gold thing up in the top? That is a treasure chest. You mean he's been walking around with that thing? You mean he's been walking around with that thing? Come on now. So it was Sephiroth. It was. No, actually, it wasn't. That was just Genova. He was just carrying Genova everywhere he goes. I don't know what the hell is going on, but Cloud, why don't you explain what happened so far? Okay, well, let's uh. Let's give him an explanation, shall we? Yeah. I'll try, but don't interrupt. 
Well, I'm explaining. Hey, Sephiroth went searching for the Promised Land so he could become the ruler of the planet, and that was five years ago. Then Sephiroth came back and killed President Shinra. Yep. And then just now all of us saw Sephiroth. He was carrying Jenova with him. This much I do know. He told me that he wants to go to the Promised Land with his mother, Jenova. I guess that's about it. Dock workers will be docking in Costa del Sol in five minutes. Prepare for docking. Alright, well, before we hide... The Ifrit Materia. Absolutely, yes, the summon, uh, the summon Ifrit. I saw the Shiva. Uh, Alright, we're gonna speed this up just a little bit. We use the... Use the uh, Shiva materia, <laughs> Diamond Dust materia. Absolutely, that, that that's was... actually your that's your favorite uh, uh, summon. Am I correct? Yes, that, I, you are most definitely correct. Promised Land, does it really exist? If you ask me, I think the Promised Land is heaven. I think so too. And we go across the uh, the rest of the ocean as well too. I gotta tell you, you know, you know, being a being a sailor, you know, someone in the Navy though, I, I gotta tip your hat off though because you know, being out to sea. Is definitely, you know, one of the most, you know, trying things I could ever say as well, too. I've got a few friends who went to the Navy as well, too. Uh, big ups to my buddy Poe, by the way. Whoop, whoop. Um, he's a retired Navy as well, too. I, I believe he was in there for, like, what, seven years? Yeah. Six, seven years. Um, please correct me. Uh, Poe, if you're listening, man, please correct me if I get it wrong. And bam. Hell pad. Hell up pad. I know, right? <laughs> you can't even see the eye there. Yeah. Oh, damn, it sure is hot here. I'm sure... But I sure feel better now I can say goodbye to the sailor suit. Alright, y'all, listen up. We'll be here to mingle like the regular folks here. Oh, too bad. I like... <laughs> oh, too bad. I like Barrett's sailor suit. He looks so cute. Oh, he was adorable, wasn't he? Yeah. What do y'all mean, cute? Right. Well, uh, Barrett, why don't you use the sailor suit for pajamas? I guess. Right, Cloud? <laughs> you look like a bear wearing a marshmallow. <laughs> ah! <laughs> what the hell is that supposed to mean? This happens to be, this happens to be the most comfortable. So shut up. <sighs> Would you kindly hurry? My heat is here is drying up my nose. All right, we'll take a break and then head off. Don't wander off too far. Well, people will go swimming and so will Aerith. You thinking of anything in particular? Your cool exterior is, cra is cracking. <laughs> Let's go then. Alrighty, well, while they have a little bit of R&R, &R, um, I do want to apologize uh, for this week's episode. Uh, the previous episode, and not to mention uh, all the uh, the dialogue, you know, the story development as well too. I definitely wanted to get to Genova though, but unfortunately this weekend for me is actually kind of crammed. I don't have very much time to do much of it, but when we come back though, we will get back to searching for Sephiroth. Much love, and... Uh, Go get Star Fox Zero if you have the Wii U. Uh, I recommend it. Um, just be, pre I do too. be prepared for a lot of frustration and some disappointments, but all in all, be prepared to be nostalgic at the same time. My opinion, go get it. Um, it's gonna take some practice, but um, if if you guys are very adaptable, I think you guys would be fine. I think so too. So it's just gonna take some practice. It, it, it'll take some practice, yes. A lot of practice. So, uh, as we cut through, much love, and, uh, peace! Peace!